gentlemen, this is the main event. This is for the Qadia World Welterweight Championship. This bout is scheduled for five rounds. Introducing in the blue corner from Egypt, representing the SNB Academy with a professional record of five wins, two losses, one draw, weighing in at 77.2 kilos and standing at 1.87 meters high. It is none other than Muhammad Salim! And introducing in the red corner, hailing all the way from Brazil, flying the colors of the Mejenga Thai team. A professional fight record of eight wins, six losses, weighing in at 76.8 and standing at 1.73 meters. It is Pedro Esfirao Farias. Our referee for this main event is Captain Mohammad Rashad. Guys, protect yourself all the time. When I say stop, stop. That's the order. Touch gloves. Back to start again. This is it. This is the main event. Let's get Ready for Qadia! He got a low call Round the one. Me, and now he's back to prove that he is the king of the welterweight division. We'll see what he does tonight. Salem's looking very huge. The size advantage is in the blue corner. Salem oh, yeah. looks huge, sharp and focused. Yeah, he looks very sharp. Pedro fights on. Foreign soil, and here we go. Looks Pedro like trying to close distance right away. You know, some nice Salem some picking him up apart with his long strikes. Yeah, some slick boxing. Yeah. Was oh! Salem with the nice right hand! Pedro needs to cover up. Salem is oh. pretty quick, and Pedro with a nice uppercut. Salem Salem's and the strikes question are mark. connecting, ladies and gentlemen. Salem is pretty sharp off of his feet. And Pedro chooses nothing but to clinch. And Salem's hey. defending the takedown, stuff the Pedro's takedown, and back and strike. Pedro's trying to like he's trying to close distance for his life. Whoa, nice fight knee from Salem. Follows up with a cross hook. Very nice hey. boxing by Salem. Yep. You gotta watch out. Salem stuffs that takedown. Doesn't want to get too excited. You gotta watch out. Pedro has a black belt under his name. Salem is having a lot of success with the strikes. Let's see what he do, how he's worked his wrestling defense. Well, Salem said he tapped out uh, black belts in his training camp and he's confident enough to out wrestle and out grapple Pedro Enrique here tonight. Pedro showing no threat either off the cage. Oh, he tries to finish a takedown. Salim still defending, doing the right thing, pushing the head down. Yeah, nice. Salim's very successful with the takedown defense so far. Goes with the elbow straight into Pedro's face. Very nice by Salim. What Salim wants to do is he's to, he wants to frame I think Pedro should transfer to the single leg, yeah, exactly. Pedro also knows what he's doing. Yeah. So Salem is not oh, yeah. safe grounds yet. Strength, ladies and gentlemen. Salem with the short Trans elbow and knees. Like Salem. Pedro's looking for the Salem uppercut. Salem with some very sharp elbows. Salem finding success with these strikes. I think we might see a finish, guys. Pedro starting to slow down. He digs in for a double leg takedown again. Tries he to has him in the sky. Up. Oh! Set him with the overhook. Slight grab to the fence, but didn't. Salim got off the ground just like he's getting out of bed. Ooh, some foot stomps by the, the Brazilian. Different. 
the strength difference is something to be reckoned with. Pedro's still trying to dig deep for a single leg here. He's trying to get the leg behind him. Oh, him with a nice takedown counter. Him with his own takedown. Nice what Salem wants Salem. to do is he's trying to, he wants to push the head away. I don't know why Pedro's not trying to get up. He can easily pull his right leg back and posture up. I don't know, I think something's up. wrong with Pedro there. Salem's looking for that Darce choke, I think. But he stands up with the wizard. Pedro's still trying to manage the fight here. He's not having any success, neither on the ground, neither on the strikes. However, oh, oh, nice very Salem. nice takedown def uh, defense uh, in display by Mohamed Salem. I'd like to see Salem move more around. He doesn't want Pedro to keep on pressuring him to the cage. Nice flying knee. Yeah, these flying knee. Oh, nice uppercut hook. Salem strikes are all landing. Very slick boxing from Salem on display. And Pedro's, Pedro's relentless with the pressure. Ooh, I think he wobbled him there. Pedro is still standing in front Pedro's of him. Pedro standing and exchanging with fire. He should cover up. Drop. I don't like what Pedro's Ooh. doing. Pedro's gonna fall asleep right now if he doesn't start protecting Ooh. himself wisely. Salem break, should break the distance. Oh, Ooh, slip. Salem, Ooh, and that was a slip from Salem. Watch out for the leg. Salem, very unfortunate for Salem. Trying to pass into half guard, Pedro here, trying to use some of his jitsu in the top position. Yeah, and resilience on display by Pedro here. He's, he took some shots this round, guys. Ten Pedro. seconds and we're out. Even though Pedro seems smaller, he is there. actually, he actually has he the strength have to compete. Time to work it. The first round ends Salem with perfect takedown defense. He just Ahmed, slipped. Ahmed Salem showed a lot of success on the feet and on the ground. I think Pedro's not the, protecting himself wisely. He's standing in the fire and he's letting all these strikes land to the head. And he's not protecting himself very wisely. So I think in the third for second round, if Pedro wants to find any success, he should stay away from Salem, try to close distance when he can, and stop walking in a straight line, getting clipped from every single strike Ahmed Salem throws. Yeah, and Pedro hasn't been successful with any of these takedowns. Salem has shown you some. See, every time he tries to take him down, just Muhammad Salem outpowers him and he puts him on his back. Yeah, Pedro very, uh, Salem very successful with the takedown defense this round. Look some at that, boxing. beautiful. <laughs> that was a beautiful sweep. You see, Pedro's having some success with the close range shots, but his chin is too high. Yeah, and, and so he has high. no head movement. Ah, uh, that was unfortunate when Salem slipped here. Very clear first round to the blue corner. Pedro does not seem like giving up anytime soon. Round two for your main event of the night. Ahmed Salem keeping his distance, being more calm now and composed. Pedro with the high guard. Salem strikes are landing flush. Nice cross from Salem. Going to the body. I like to see Salem throw more combinations instead of one strike or two. The more, the more he adds up, the more he's clipping him. Yes! Yeah, I believe so. And Salem's clipping him with these shots. Most of these shots are landing. Precise now Pedro, shots. Pedro's trying to break down Salem's movement a little bit with the leg kicks. Yeah, Pedro's got that high guard. Nice! Beautiful. Mixing the shots! Oh. Salem! Very creative combination. Yeah, Salim is putting on a clinic Ooh, for us. Oh, and the right hand connects. 
Pedro is moving forward, and the way that he's moving forward is not the best for him. And I love Every how Sal is moving forward. He's getting clipped. Now he's going for his own takedown. Oh, this is deep, guys. If Salim defends this one, then that's it for the red corner, I think. He's got the legs, the hands locked. Great Ooh, job. Salim, Salim defends it again. Stops the takedown. Salim is doing a great job defending these takedowns, giving Pedro no for an answer. But Pedro doesn't seem like giving up anytime soon. Very relentless with his pressure. He doesn't mind taking a shot. Pedro's managing the fight now. Pedro's trying to buy so himself some time and catch some breath. Maybe let Selim carry his weight a little bit, wear him down. Yeah, but these strikes has been very heavy. Yeah, and that high guard hasn't been helping him. All of the strikes up the middle have been connecting. Yeah. It might protect him from some of Selim's hooks, but all of the strikes up the middle are connecting. And Selim's got his frame and overhook. We'll see what he does with it. Pedro's digging deep for the takedown, trying to connect it. He has a single leg there. He wants to move his hips to the left side. Sell him with the overhook, buying him some time. Pedro's got his hands connected. Pedro's working even more than Salim, being the aggressor. Being the aggressor, he is, and there's a high crotch. Oh, and he, and he takes him down. He takes him down Pedro with a high crotch, takes single Salim leg. down, making a statement with a high crutch. And how about his power? This guys? is very motivating for uh, Pedro, his first takedown of the evening. <coughs> it's a mental win for Pedro. We still have two minutes left for Pedro, round two. Pedro has all the time in the world to work there. Muhammad Salim needs to try to recover now. And he needs to try to be in a better position. Yeah, Salem's just catching his breath. He's side control with the black belt. Salem's just catching his breath. He needs to recover and uh, put uh, Pedro back in his guard. And he needs also to be efficient with his energy. And he stands up. And he's back oh. on his feet. Oh, he's in a dark position, but he gets out of it. Switches the position now, he's on top. <laughs> And all of the fans in this arena are with Salim. Salim looking. It's like a chess game. Salim throws heavy pounds. A chess match between oh, both of these Salim guys. Oh, Salim This is very deep, ladies and gentlemen. Is he going to make a statement by tapping out the black belt? That guillotine is tight. Pedro's defending right. Pedro's that defending the right is. way. Pedro's just thinking about the takedown. Oh! Pedro with a nice takedown. Pedro, gentlemen, that came out of nowhere. Another takedown from the red corner. Wow. What a crazy fight, ladies and gentlemen. Both these fighters are very, very high. And oh, remember, guys, he's going for a Kimura. He's going for the Kimura. Pedro's going for a Kimura. He's going for the Kimura. Is he? Does he have it here? He can't let him get his left leg around his head. Nearly 10 seconds left. And he goes into mount. Pedro, well oh, done. What a turn of events. You can see how high level Pedro is in the oh, jiu-jitsu. This fight is going 50-50 right now. This fight is a crazy fight. Wow. Both of these fighters showed crazy submissions. Both of them showed heart, showed a lot of good striking. And this Pe has been nothing but a wild, wild fest yeah, so extremely far. Extremely high level fight, Omar. And Pedro's face, guys, it looks bruised up from all of the striking. Yes. I think mean, Pedro right now is confident. I'm sure it's very high because that first round he was getting busted up so bad. Right now he's scoring takedowns, he's attacking submissions. And the fighter, look at this, look at this dip. This was insane. Hamad Salim, I don't think that he should be trying to go for any submission because he's been having so much success in the striking. I think he should try to keep this fight standing, pick him apart, find his Rigi shots. He's much more longer and he's much stronger.
Pedro has just got to go in there, close the distance, and keep it like that. Because he has no better way of winning the fight other than that. Ladies and gentlemen, Omar Bishawi has given us the blueprint in a nutshell. Remember guys, this is the main event and we have in total five rounds and we have three more rounds to go. Yeah, this is a war guys, this is a five rounder. And this is another factor for this fight, which is cardio. Who will be able to withstand the physical Ladies ability? Ladies and gentlemen, it is the final round of Qadia 002 and the final round of the main event. Round number three. Salim looking very focused. He's got his eyes on his Ladies opponent. and gentlemen, this is a five by five round. This is a five by five round. This is a five by five, ladies and gentlemen. This is a title fight. Muhammad Salim throws a check hook and Pedro comes back. Yes, Muhammad Salim needs to get away. Don't let him grab you. No strange oh, boxing. Oh, and he dips Pedro. under him. Pedro dips under Muhammad Salim. Muhammad is doing the right thing, widening up his stance. He needs to get an underhook. And he takes it down. Salim flips him back. Very nice reversal from Salim. We've seen this position early in the first round. He seems stuck at this position. What do you guys think? I think should the move? referee's gonna stand him up right now. If we don't see activity right now, he should stand him up. Ooh, Salem's going for a door sleep. Oh, but it's not. It's I don't think Salem should choke the... out his arms in these submissions. Receive the door choke attempt. Salem is the better striker in this fight. Ooh, Pedro, nice, Ooh, pro nice pro Salim. by Salem. Salem with the takedown. Take down. And I think he's secured. Pedro's it. on the figure four. He got a gillet. He's got a kimura. Salem's got to watch out. Salem wants his, to get his leg outside and start moving to watch out. The watch out. So of Pedro watch is out. relentless, man. But he's got he, he's got nowhere to turn him around. There's the cage. As long as Salem's close to the cage, he's in, he's in a very good defensive position. And he lets the submission go, and Salem has room now for ground and pound. Some heavy ground in front from Salim. Pedro He's back in Pedro's guard. guard. Salim's gotta watch out. Come on, come on, come on. Salim's come gotta on, watch out. On, Punishing on. shots from Salim. Hey. Oh, Pe Pedro's trying to open up his guard, trying to throw submission off of his back. He's certainly I believe Salim, Salim should leave him down there and just get up. Oh, oh. nice ground and pound from Salim. Heavy shots I'm not from Salim with heavy strikes, but I still believe he should separate and just let this fight go up standing. You can see it all in the translator's reaction, guys. Standing outside, she's got hands on her mouth. Salim taking his time with these heavy shots. Slicing elbows across the forehead. Salim's got to watch out. Pedro's trying to sink in the submission. Yeah, Pedro's trying to set up some traps for Salim. Every time he starts striking, he starts opening up and he starts mobilizing his hips. He's got to watch out. Pedro staying active from the bottom. Submission attempts and elbows. Pedro opens up his guard. Send him with some very nice ground and pound strikes. Is he looking for the leg? Well, I think he, he's going yeah, Pedro's got his guard wide open, looking for some opportunities, some submissions maybe. And he's attacking that Kimura again. Oh, he's got the figure four. He's aiming for he's the got Kimura the figure four. since the beginning Salim's of the gotta fight. Salim's got to watch out. Yeah. Watch out. Salim's, Salim's got to watch out. Salim's got to watch out. His arm. This looks deep. This, is this looks deep. deep. And he sweeps him with the he Kimura. He's still in danger, he's still got the figure four. But Salim manages to get out of it. Yeah, 
Great work from Salim there. Salim that goes on his back to avoid close. the Kimura danger. Very that was great. He's going for the Kimura again. Salim's got to watch out and he's got to protect the hand. Yeah, this guy's relentless with the Kimura attempts. Pedro's aiming for that Kimura since the beginning of the fight. Will he be able to finish? Oh, he's got a straight arm bar there. Salim's got to watch out. Ooh, he's, he's got, straight he's into mount. mount. He's got Very back creative. to position. Pedro's jiu-jitsu, Pedro man. Ground and pound. High level jiu-jitsu. He's going for an arm bar. The Salim sweeps him. Salim goes for the ground and pound. At the end of round three. Salim and they both up. Sell him, sell him, I'm done with this BS. Come on, let's bang. Watch out for the neck. Sell him going for the back. Sell him throwing some knees. Sell him looks way too Oh my god, ladies and gentlemen. Pedro looks like he's gassed out, ladies and gentlemen. Sell him is taking no for an answer. And oh. ladies and gentlemen. What a fight. Oh my god, ladies and gentlemen, we still have two more rounds of packed action in this fight. We still have two more rounds of crazy action. This round has been nothing but a bloodshed. Honestly, man, I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know. Man, man. I, don't know. <laughs> I don't know, Khaled. Like, Pedro is answering with submissions, and Mohammed Salem has an answer for everything. He's defending properly. His ground and pound is on point. His striking is on point. Everything is going on point for the both of them. This fight, you guys don't yeah. think. Yeah, it's really high level and Pedro's got submission attempts from anywhere. Look from at that. Anywhere. Look at that dip. Salim just took him and tossed him down to the ground. He's like, I'm, I'm done with this. I'm done. Let's work. Yeah, at the end of the round. Let's work. He's like, come on, let's bang. And he threw some strikes off of the ground, took him up. And, well, this is the problem here. So Salim doesn't want to stay on the ground for long. Salim is having much more success in the strike ground, in the strike game. Pedro wants to fight there. So what Salim needs to do is he needs to try to avoid him at all times. Yeah, and, and try to keep this fight standing the whole time. Yeah, and we know Salim has the answers in the uh, takedown defense. He's, he, he has nothing to prove, man. He has nothing to prove on the ground. Yeah, and he, he has... It is the main event, and it is round number four. And the glove malfunction for Salim. There's something going on with Salim's glove. They're getting it fixed. <clears throat> man, just get the tape off the glove. Man. What a war, ladies and gentlemen. Both fighters this each is other one entertaining this fight. This has been a crazy fight so far. Getting Salim's issue done with the glove. I love how at the end of the round, Salem was just the crowd is on the fire. The crowd is on fire. And going relentless with the pressure. And here we go, round four of this action-packed welterweight title fight. Pedro wasting no time going in for the takedown. This is what Salem needs to do. He needs to keep him. He needs to keep him outside. Ooh. Pedro throwing some heavy strikes now. Ooh, Very nice creative elbow, elbow from elbow. Pedro. Stops that That's takedown. That's what Salim needs to keep on doing. Stop the takedown and throw your strikes. Pedro's trying to dig to the body. Pedro oh, with that uppercut, Pedro man. Pedro with the body work. I love how he's setting up that uppercut. Pedro's very strong with his close yeah, range no, boxing. Now he, he had a high crotch single around yeah. two. He had some success with the high crotch takedowns. So Salim's got to watch out. He's got to keep the overhook and keep it strong and try to sweep the position. Yeah, he's got to stop Pedro from clasping Pedro, his hands Pedro, together. Pedro's winning the fight there because he knows there's another Pedro high crotch. Pedro lifts him up, but Salim, Salim does it no. as well. Salim needs to stop Pedro from clasping his hands together and lifting him up. He needs to start on fighting wrist control on uh, Pedro's right hand as he's doing right now. Salim's trying to get a figure four there. But Pedro's doing the right thing, moving towards the hand. Now he's got his hips together. He's got to watch out. Salim's got to watch out for his back. Salim's got to watch out for his back. 
Pedro throws a knee. A very exhausting fight up until now, but these guys have prepared very well. Salem needs to flip the switch. Salem was having a lot of success with no. Salem cannot just stay there. Pedro relentless with the pressure and the takedown attempts. And the referee splits them apart. <laughs> Pedro closes this. Again. Ooh, Salem connects. And another knee. Pedro looks wobbled, ladies and gentlemen. But he's still going. Both fighters look exhausted, ladies and gentlemen. As they should, Both man. It's a grueling match. Both fighters look exhausted. Oh, those knees Salim is landing are crazy. Oh, these knees are money, man. Please be careful with those knees Salim. But you got to watch out. You don't want to go there now. You don't want to go there now. Oh. Pedro is so strong with his takedowns. Pedro finishes the takedown again, and he's in mount. Straight into mount. Straight into mount position. Now he's going to score. He's going to start scoring. This is a war, ladies and gentlemen. Salim is in deep trouble there, ladies and gentlemen. He's got to use the cage and try to toss him off of him. You see the power in Salim. But he's got to watch out for the back. No, 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 no. no. Salim has got to watch out for the arm bar there. Pedro is taking his time to set it up. A jiu-jitsu black belt setting up an armbar. But he bails on it. Guys, this is the championship rounds. This yeah. is where it matters. These are the rounds that you're going to get counted for. Salem's got to watch out while he's trying to get up. He's got to watch out for the neck. Now it's Pedro's time to for the ground and pound. But he's more lenient towards the submissions. Very, very. The red corner's got a very dangerous ground game, ladies and gentlemen. Pedro's throwing strikes. Not doing that much damage. But Salim is very Salim much to move. This Salim fight. needs to move. He's got to watch out. Salim trying to explode. Salim's got to watch out as he's moving in these exchanges. Pedro is very dangerous on the ground. He's throwing strikes. He's softening it up. Pedro scoring them points. Pedro is showing relentless power in the mount position. Salim needs to find an answer for these ground exchanges. He's gonna look for Ten the seconds, triangle. and I think we're going to see a final round. Of this firefight, I ladies and so. gentlemen. Firefight, as Omar said, guys. This Born has burning. been crazy. This has been a very crazy fight. Salem has had a lot of successes in many areas. But right now, he's losing this fight on the ground. He doesn't want to land down there again. Pedro is not giving him any room to move down there. He's dominating the position and he's attacking with submissions on and on and on. It's a very hard, a hard fight to score as well. Very hard fight to score. Back and forth, back and forth, and whenever Pedro gets into that mount position, relentless with the submission attempts and with the ground and pound. But Salim is very much in this fight. No significant strikes on the ground. Well, Pat, Pedro certainly found his key to victory well, that, here. That last round was all Pedro, ladies and gentlemen. He's throwing off strikes, trying to set up submissions. Salim has had some success, but closing distance with him is not the right thing to do right now. These are the championship rounds. This is what determines who takes the fight home. Powerful shots. Ladies and gentlemen, this main event is going to go the distance. The final round of the main event in the Kadia World Welterweight Championship, round number five.
Last round, ladies and gentlemen. Stand him, stand him and throw it. Yeah, stand him with the killer throw instinct. It. Trash talk to the corner out there. He just wants to scrap, man. That dude loves war. Round five of your main oh, event. Pedro throws in. This is a firefight, ladies and gentlemen. Pedro tries to go for a takedown. Sandy defends it. Ooh, very close to him. Both biting down on their mouth guards. Ooh, Salem is trying to finish the fight. Salem's finding so much success with this striking. However, ladies and gentlemen, more this fight is going into a crazy fight. Pedro's still trying to close the distance. Pedro trying to close the distance and then he's storing the fight again. Salem needs to separate and move. He's got double unders. He's got both hooks in. He, can... he needs to act now before it's too late. He's trying to lift him up away from his waist. If Pedro gets the takedown. Oh, oh that's a nice. position. Salem needs to recognize that he has to Salem just pulled him this into round. this position right now. Pedro's trying to find his way to the ground. Pedro's trying to find his way to his feet, and he does. Salem's got to watch out. Ooh, Salem holds on to him and lifts him up and takes him down straight into guillotine. However, it's not that in. And Salem's got to watch out. Salem's got to watch out for the guard. And guys, it's a, I love what Salem's doing in this round. He's putting a statement to who's gonna take this one home. Salem needs to get up. Pedro needs to find a way off of his back. Very high grappling from both fighters on display tonight. Pedro's trying to, Pedro's trying to sweep, sweep the position here. Salem going in for a darts. Salem trying to set up his own choke. Oh, Salem's got a choke. That is deep. This looks deep, guys. It looks deep, but Pedro's defending right. And now they both stand up. Two minutes left on the clock. Salem with a nice knee up the foot. Elbows, 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 hooks. And Salem putting everything in to end the fight. And they both look gas. But Salem's looking both very much fresher. Look like they're off their lungs. They're fighting at the top of their lungs right now. Oh, Cut to clip Salem. Salem's cold. This could end either way here. Right now, ladies and gentlemen, we have a minute and a half. God bless the judges and how they're going to judge this yeah, fight. Yeah, man, I wouldn't want to be a judge. If we see the end of this fight, God bless those judges. They're swinging for the fences right now. Both fighters are swinging and landing. They're spilling their hearts out here, ladies and gentlemen. And Salem goes for the takedown. And stopped by Pedro. Pedro switches. Salem's got to watch out from the back right now. He's only got one hook in. Salem. Salem is doing the right off. thing. Salem should stand up. Pedro's got the figure four. Pedro's got the figure four. And Salem stops the submission threat by stepping on Pedro's right hand. Pedro's giving Salem his back, guys. This is dangerous for Pedro. 30 seconds left. 30 seconds left for this fight, ladies and gentlemen. Pedro finds himself on his feet again. Final takedown of the night. Salim needs to secure this one. 
He needs to put an exclam exclamation mark on this performance tonight. And he takes him down. And he takes him down. What a fight, ladies and gentlemen. What a fight, man. We what take this to the scorecards. Round of applause, all triangle. What a fight. What a war, ladies and gentlemen. What a war. This has been a crazy fight, ladies and gentlemen. Round of applause to both fighters. Of course. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for these two amazing warriors, Mohamed Salem and Pedro Farias. All out war. How this amazing is, is that? Arts. That was certainly worthy of a Qadia 002 main event. Definitely worthy of a world welterweight championship bout. Two men gave it their all for five rounds. Shokran Masr, obrigado Brasil. Amazing performance, performance from both man, these nice. elite athletes. It is unfortunate that only one of them will be crowned a champion, but both of these are absolute heroes here today. Well, Safi, both of these guys are heroes, and we can't wait for the decision. Reminding you one more time, our official hashtag Qadia002 and of course hashtag Qadia MMA, the, the official Instagram account Qadia MMA is going to be announcing the brand new Qadia World Welterweight Champion. After five rounds, we went to the judges scores for a decision. Judge Khalil scored it 50-45. Judge Fahmi scored it 48-47. And Judge Thibbet scored it 49-46. Ladies and gentlemen, the winner of the main event and the new Qadia World Welterweight Champion is Mohamed Saleh! Talk about his rocky moment, man. Such an inspiring young athlete, Mohammed Ben.